Alright guys, so what we're basically going to do right now is just finish the login system and then head on to the logout system, which is not basically a system, it's just a single file that's pretty easy to code, so don't worry about that. But as you can see, I have written comments because this is going to be going up in my website so you guys can download it. Uh, it's gonna only going to be the first parts we did together. And then once we have done other tutorials, I will put that up. Um, I want to give out a shout out to Derek for giving me a shout out. So thank you, Derek. Um, so what we want to do now is in here in the num rows does not equal zero. We want to do a new variable called rows equals mysql underscore fetch underscore a sock parentheses and semicolon inside here we're gonna put the query so now we can basically get everything we need so we're gonna do db email equals row and inside here we wanna do email and the only reason I'm doing it with a capital E is because if we look back to our my their PHP my admin you can see we have this as a capital E and this the same so we want to have this the same so DB whoa DB password or path equals rows and inside here capital P and password and now we have to make sure they match so we're gonna start with an if statement so if email equals 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 db email and password equals 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 db pass then we're basically gonna give them access if they don't equal we're basically gonna give them a header new direction so header location is gonna be login underscore failed so what we wanna do now is head on over to login and basically just copy this paste it and change this from no to login underscore fail and change this uh, please check your email and password it could be anything because this is your website like I said before you could have anything you guys want so now what we want to do inside here is create the session so we're gonna do dollar sign underscore session and inside here we're gonna do capital E and then mail and we're gonna set this to the DB email and semicolon so after that we want to give them a header and we want to do it location semicolon or no colon just colon home dot php so now that we have that we have to go all the way up where we have the first if and inside here we want to create the session so we're going to do session underscore start and semicolon and we have to go all the way down and new PHP syntax and here it's going to be session underscore start and we're going to do a new variable we're going to say user live and we're going to set this equal to the session So session email.
Alright. So if we save this and we save our login and we test this out, this should work. So first let's do Bob at test.com and the email is gonna be test, which is wrong. This should be login fails. And as you can see, please check your email and password. So this is working. So now let's do Bob at test.com and the password is going to be Bob test. And this should give us access. As you can see, home.php. All we have to do is make the home PHP.